Hey guys, today I have this beautiful Toyota Tundra that has some warts. The first issue is the incredible amount of bug guts that have been splattered all over the grill and windshield. Secondly, the windows are all covered in water spots that look like they've been building up for years. But with my tools and knowledge, I'm going to make this thing look showroom ready. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Starting out on these tires, I'm going to use some super clean diluted one to one and then some PNS Brake Buster also a diluted one to one from a spray bottle in my foamer. These chemicals along with my various brushes will leave them looking like new. In my last video, I had a quote from one of my favorite all time movies, Dumb and Dumber. Lloyd Christmas's quote about liking it a lot, identified by at Zoe Birch 8431. They were the first one to correctly identify it. Let's see you can catch the quote from this week's movie. Moving on to this beautiful blue paint, since I have to work outside, I'm going to give the entire vehicle a rinse and then spray some PNS bug off on all the insects that met their end at the hands of this vehicle. The owner said that they took a trip through Illinois and that they'd never driven through clouds of bugs like that. And it wasn't mayflies along the river, but rather hordes of mosquitoes. I cover the bug off with Adam's mega foam to give it extra dwell time. I also take that time to use my soft detail brush to get into the tighter parts of the vehicle that my wash mitt will not reach. Next, I'll rinse the entire vehicle completely off of foam. If I was washing inside, I would have skipped this step and went directly into uh, using a contact wash with my wash mitt, but I didn't want this foam to dry on the vehicle. Then with the combo of the bug off and my soft microfiber mitt, I think I could actually hear the bug screaming. I'm melting, melting. Thank you. 
With the vehicle clean, I'm going to use some iron remover and soapy water as lubricant to remove all the embedded contaminants. This shot of me drying the vehicle really isn't that special, but I want you to notice, look at the water spots are staining on that windshield. That's what I'm gonna be taking care of in the polishing step later on. These all-weather floor mats did a great job of catching the dirt and sand, and I got them cleaned up with some super clean drill brush and my pressure washer. My secret weapon is this old toothbrush. If you're finding the toothbrush footage as satisfying as I do, go on down and give this video a thumbs up so I know to include more of this in the future. This carpet was in great shape, so all it really needed was a good complete vacuuming and then just a couple spots that I had to do some treatment of some dirtier areas. One ingenious idea the owner had was to put some plastic carpet protector over the middle hump in the back. He cut it to fit perfectly and it protected this area that always seems to get super dirty and stained in other vehicles. The seats were also in great shape, so I'm gonna take quick care of them with my PNS line of cleaning products. There was no reason to bring out the extractor for this detail as they only had surface dirt and no one really embedded stains. I have these PNS products along with everything else I've used linked in the description below. These are affiliate links and if you order from them, you will support this channel at no additional cost to you. The trim was also in good shape and just needed a good cleaning. The toughest part of this door was the fabric part that I'm working on right now. Uh, it almost was like cleaning sandpaper really with my microfiber towels. It was an unusual fabric uh, that was difficult to clean. There was a lot of hair that had become attached and it took a little bit of scrubbing to get loose.
Now I'm gonna take care of these water spots. I tried a water spot remover and scrubbed it, but it just didn't seem to work. So I looked online and to find some ideas and I found that I could use my polisher and some finishing polish to remove them. I pulled out the three inch Griot's Garage dual action polisher and my Sonax Perfect Finish and boy, did it clean up those spots wonderfully. I used some Gion Prep panel wipe spray to remove the oils that the polish left behind and those windows looked brand new. With the trim cleaned, it's time to restore it and give it some UV protection with 303 Aerospace Protectant. I also applied it to the black trim on the exterior. So after eight hours, this Toyota Tundra is looking spectacular. These aftershots, this paint just looks tremendous. The interior wasn't much work. Um, the windows look great. I'm so impressed with how the windows turned out, having to polish this, never done that before, Using some, uh, looking up online, realizing I said I could use some Stonex Perfect Finish, buffing this thing. The windows look absolutely spectacular, but they haven't looked like years. This thing looks like a million bucks. If you thought the video was satisfying, go on down in the, uh, Below the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me more than anything you can possibly do. Or go ahead and give a comment as well. Tell me what you thought about this uh, detail. Let me know if I did anything wrong, things you would have done differently. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, keep it clean.